Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created web security configuration and we added course filter in our Spring Boot application. And in today's video, we will create sidebar and sign up user component in our Angular application. So let's get started. So in our Angular application, first of all, we need to create a sidebar. And to do this, we will open app.component.html file and we will remove existing code from this file and after this we will write a tag for ng layout and in this ng layout i will add a tag for the ng cider and for the ng width i will give it as 200 pixel and after this in this ng cider tag we will write a div tag and we will give it a class of logo and after this we need to show buttons for login and register and to do this we will write ul tag and for the NZ theme, we will give it as dark and for NZ mode, we will give it as inline. And after this, we will write li tag and for the router link, we will give it as slash register. And in this li tag, we will add a user icon and after this, we will write register in a span tag. And after this, let's create another li tag. And in this li tag, we will add an icon for the login and for the text, we will write login and that's it for our sidebar now we need to write the code to show the pages of our application and to do this after this ng cider tag we will write a tag for ng layout and in this ng layout we will write a tag for ng content and in this ng content we will write router outlet tag and at the end we will write a tag for ng footer and with this the html code for sidebar is completed now let's save this file and let's open our app.component.css file and i will paste the css code here you can pause the video and you can copy this css code now let's save this file and after this to use the components of our ui library we need to add the imports for it so i will right click on our app folder and i will paste a file and the file name is demo ng zoro ant module and in this file i added all imports of the components which we will use in this project and now we need to import this file in our app module so let's open app.module.ts file and in the imports array i will add the name of the file and after this i will click on this quick fix button and then i will click add import for the file and after this we need to add import for the reactive forms because on the sign up page we will build reactive form so in the imports array let's mention reactive forms module and let's click on this quick fix button and let's update the imports from angular slash forms and after this we will save this file and after this i will open assets folder and i will paste one logo file here and you can see the preview of this logo and after this let's run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to the browser and as you can see in the browser we got our sign up bar and in the sign up bar we have two buttons for register and login and now let's go back to our vs code and let's create this register component and in the vs code first of all we need to create two folders so we will right click on our app folder and we will choose new folder and for the first folder we will give a name of auth and then we will mention slash components and after this let's hit enter and now we need to create a register component in this components folder so we will right click on it and we will open it in integrated terminal and in this terminal we will give a command which is ng g for generate c for component and we will name this component as register now let's hit enter and as you can see our register component is ready now we need to create a route for this component and to do this we will open app routing.module.ts and in this file in the routes array we need to create a new object and in this object first of all we need to give path and we will give it as register and after this we need to give component and we will give it as register component 
and now let's save this file and let's open our register.component.ts file and in this file we need to create a register reactive form and to do this first of all we will create a constructor and in this constructor we will inject form builder and we will name this as fp and after this let's create a form and let's give it a name of register form and the type of this should be form group and now we need to add the imports for them so let's click on this quick fix and then let's click add all missing imports and after this we will create ng on init method and in this ng on init method let's use our register form and to build this form we will use form builder and we will call dot group method and in this group method we need to mention the controls of this form and the first control of this form is email and after this for by default value we will give it as null and after the by default value we need to give an array for the validators and for validators we will give validators dot email and after this we will give validators dot required and after the email let's create another control and let's name it as password and for by default value we will give null and for the validators we will give validators dot required and after this let's create another control and let's name this as name and for the by default value we will give null and for validators we will give validators dot required and with this the ts code is completed now let's save this file and let's open our register.component.html file and in this file let's add a div tag and let's give it a class of center form and after this to show the logo let's add an image tag and let's write the path for the logo which we just added and after this we will write h2 tag and for the text we will show enter details to register and after this let's write a form tag and for the form group we will bind it with register form and after this we need to mention the form controls and to do this we will write a tag for ng form item and in this ng form item tag let's write a tag for ng form control and for ng error tip we will show a message please input your email and in this ng form control tag let's add a tag for ng input group and in this ng input group let's write an input tag and for the form control name we will give it as name and for the placeholder we will write enter name and after this we need to add form control to get the email so we will duplicate the same code and for the form control name we will pass email and for the placeholder we will pass enter email and after this let's duplicate the code again one last time and this time for the type we will give password and for the form control name we will give password and at the end we need to add a button so let's write a button tag and for the text we will show register and we will disable this button if our form is invalid and with this our html code is completed now let's save this file and let's open our css file and in this css file i will paste the css code and you can pause the video and you can copy this css code or you can write your own styling and now let's save this file and as you can see our application got compiled successfully now let's go to the browser and in the browser let's click on this register button and as you can see we got redirected to our register page and on this page we can see our logo and after this we have three inputs for name email and password and at the end we have a register button which is disabled and that's it for today's video in the next video we will get the data from these controls and we will call register user api